Here are the top three lifts that you can do to help you become a better pass protector as an offensive lineman. Now, before we get started, please take the time to like and subscribe to this channel. Welcome to the channel. Now, let's take a moment in time and talk about the best position on the field. And that, for you guys that don't know, is the offensive line. Now, more specifically with the offensive line, let's talk about pass protection. Now, there's scenarios throughout the whole game, say third and long, end of the game situation, that everyone knows we're passing. That de defensive line has their ears pinned back and they're ready to go. Now, because of this, I believe that pass protection is the hardest block that we can do as an offensive line. Now, what are some things we can do in the offseason to help us become a better pass protector? Now, to be a good pass protector, you need to be quick so you can react to the defensive lineman and also get out of your stance and get set up at the point of attack. You also need to have a strong core so when you're getting pushed and pulled, you can combat that. And you need a strong base because everything starts from the ground up. Now, here are three lifts that we can do in the offseason, plus one bonus exercise that will help you become a better pass protector. Now, the snatch, in a nutshell, it's a very explosive movement. Also with the snatch, it helps you strengthen your core, and it's also going to teach you how to control your core. Now, let's carry this over to the football field. How's the snatch going to help me in the, on the field of play? The explosiveness of the snatch is going to help you get out of your stance quicker. It's also going to help with your quickness so you can react to the defensive lineman. Now, to help you from getting knocked around and help you keep your balance, this is where your strengthening of your core comes into play and also be able to control your core. So when the defensive lineman are trying to push pull on you, you're able to combat that. Now, to be a very good pass protector, you need to have a very strong base. Now, what I like to use for my clients is the front squat. Now, the front squat puts a lot of focus on the core. And as we talked about for the snatch, the core is very important to become a very good pass protector. In this variation, we did a front squat with a pump. Now, why the pump? The pump will help improve movement and mobility of the hips. This helps create more power coming from the hips and the legs. You can change directions easier because you're able to move your hips. And it also makes it easier for you to control the level of your hips. So if you need to get lower, you can do that. The two-arm kettlebell swing with a twist will help you train to be able to control your core. Now, like I said, with the snatch and the front squat, having a strong core and to be able to control that core is going to help you become a better pass protector. It's going to help you be able to deliver a punch at the point of contact, it's also going to help you maintain your balance, which will help you from getting knocked around. Now, being able to control your core is a main key to becoming a better athlete. <clears throat> the towel curl will help do two things. First, for your pass protection and help you on the field, it'll improve your grip strength. So when you get your hands on a defensive lineman inside the shoulder pads, you can hold on and grip them and control them better. Now, maybe the most important thing, it's going to fill out those jerseys, especially around the arms a little better. Thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. I hope this helps you become a better pass protector and give you some ideas of what to do in the off season. Now, before you go, please hit the like and subscribe button. In the near future, I'll be sending out more videos to help you become a better pass protector during the season and also during the off season. So please hit that notification bell so you know when I upload a new video. Till then, take care.